Hey there, and welcome back to another one of my videos. If you like it, or if it helps you out, come check me out in either of these two places. Alright, so, since Sun Showdown is something that I know a little bit about, because, well, I've done it once or twice. In fact, you could even say that I've Hunt Showdowned several times. And I talked about in my last guide, 20 tips that will help out the new or less experienced player. And in that guide, I said that the single most important thing you could do is to just try to do things, be assertive, take initiative. Well, the second aspect of that is your most powerful, useful, important resource is your team. Um, your team is more important than what gun you have, is more important than your loadout, your throwables, whatever perks. It's your team that's going to get you through everything. So while I do want you taking initiative and I want you to try things, I want you to try to do these things in connection with your team. No matter what an enemy player has, whether it be fanning or a nitro or whatever, insert random powerful thing here that people complain about, dualies, whatever. No one guy with dualies is going to be harder for you to beat than three guys with anything. So with that being said, here are my tips for team fights. Alright, so first and foremost, obviously if you're trying to do something with a team, it means you need to be with your team. So the first tip I'm going to impart with you is to stay with your team, play together, push together, be working towards the same objective at the same time. The fact of the matter is, you're going to go down occasionally for one reason or another. And if you go down, you want your team to be near enough that they can get you right back up and right back into the fight. Furthermore, you can just kind of cover each other and most importantly, focus fire the same target if you can. Now there's obviously instances where you might go after different targets or split a team or something like that, but generally speaking, think of it kind of like an MMO boss or trash clear or something like that. You want everybody to focus fire one target and get it down because team fights are ultimately a game of numbers. And once the numbers start swinging in favor, so one team has more than the others, it just tends to snowball from there. It's very hard to come back from deficits. So focus fire your targets. Everybody needs to move towards the same guy at the same time. That way you can get him down and get out of the fight. All right, next up, I have a concept from firefighting that I'm going to use for team fighting. If you can, have your team shove the enemy team in one direction. Think of it like a fire in a room. You don't want to spread it all over the place and then it's popping up and giving you trouble here and there. You want to shove it in one direction and out. Preferably, in this case, away from cover. If you're fighting on the edges from trees or something like that, try to shove them out into the open so that you have the cover and that they do not. Additionally, what this is going to do for you is lead right into my next point. I said that team fights are a game of numbers, and I really want to emphasize this. One of the most important factors is just having more teammates than the other team, which means that combat reses are one of your most powerful maneuvers. Whenever you get an opportunity, even if it's just a simple tag which most people will duck away from to heal, you need to take that moment to either get your teammate up or to buy the space for your other teammate to get your teammate up. The thing is, most people don't have a 3, 4, 5 plus KD. So it's very hard for most people to kill 3, 4, 5 of you, etc. Every time you combat res, you're adding another kill that they have to get without dying in order for them to win. So if it's 3 on 1, that guy has to essentially perform at a 3.0. If you get a combat res, now 4.0, etc., etc., etc. So I cannot stress enough how powerful combat reses are. You just have to be quick with them, you have to be concise, you have to go for them, and you have to set them up by the space, shove the team away from them, give your teammates the opportunity to get your other teammates up and back into this fight. Uh, 
Oh, that dude's still bleeding out there. Just that one. He's bleeding right there. You're looking at him. Nice. So right here, had we not rezzed this guy, well, we would have lost this much. fight. Plague Doctor sorry. there would have won, <laughs> rezzed everybody, and gone about their merry way. But well, since we took cool. the moment to pick that dude up mid-fight, yeah, he though. ended up getting the final hit, Just and we get to claim the victory. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the next and final fight of that very same match and just make a couple of points here. These are things I've said in some of my other videos, but they're pertinent. And I want to stress them. Every member of the team is kind of like every member of a team at work. You should all be doing something. If some of the team is fighting a boss, the rest of you should be scouting or helping fight the boss. If some of you is uh, checking an area, the rest of you should probably be checking a different area so that your overall vision area, coverage is 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 larger you're more likely to find somebody if you come across supplies don't be greedy with them you know if you know that your teammate needs ammo or health or something like that let them take it because a healthy strong teammate's probably going to get you more in the long run by being able to win the fight than you getting one extra ammo box and to definitely re-emphasize a point from previous videos a team that pressures together wins together to the point of like even though I'm bleeding right now I don't have to stop and heal because that guy has really no choice but to back away from us so we just get to keep the utmost of pressure on him and get the kill and this is right back into how important it is to focus fire push together shove them in the same direction all of that and then just to make one more point one of the reasons that it's nice to hold one direction is because for as much as you want to be able to push together you also want to be able to retreat together one of the very important things you can do is if you start getting pressured or pushed you need to back up you always back away from yep. from a threat and give yourself the room you need to work with so if your teammate needs to back up you need to be there so that you can cover that retreat if they get hit or tagged or whatever and they have to back out and heal, make sure that the enemy doesn't just get to freely push them. Now, I don't happen to have a clip on hand uh, of using this that results in a kill, but I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick right here so you can see what I'm talking about. I got you covered if they chase that. So there we got our friend out of harm's way. They weren't able to capitalize on that, even though in this case they didn't chase down the bees and the tag anyways. I just wanted to demonstrate what it is to cover a teammate as he needs to back out. And then on the flip side of that, back to what I was saying earlier about pressuring together, it is incredibly difficult to retreat from somebody who is actually pressuring you without cover. And you're going to see that right here. And then there's oh, someone definitely die. east. Blew himself up. Hit her once. Right behind this block. Oh my god, how did I not hit? Push her, push her, push her. Dead. Alright, next up, let me demonstrate how good and effective it is to flank. Now, when you go to flank somebody, as in move around and try to get a new angle on them, I think this is a great idea, but I want you to keep some of my previous points in mind. Do so in a way that you're still kind of attacking from a unified front and shoving them in a direction, and do so in a way that you and your team can still cover each other, still back each other up, and can still kind of aim at the same targets. How good you came. Really good. Yeah. Don't forget to make your call outs and let each other know what you're seeing. You're you're now seeing things from two different angles, so your your total vision has expanded and you can help guide each other towards a thing. My ping is good as well. And you're also sowing a bit of chaos in the 
enemy team. So while you're watching from two different angles, you're still watching one target. You're looking two ways at the same thing. They're trying to watch from one position out to two. So they have to watch in two different directions at once. It's much less effective and it immediately swings things in favor of you. Just when you're doing this, you have to be very careful and you have to make sure that you don't play so out of position that you end up going down because that makes you a liability to your team. Now not only have you lost the numbers game, but you're down in a very bad spot. You're actually down with a whole enemy team in between you, which means that they can fall back and burn you or do whatever else, and your team has to actually fight back, entirely so. through them to get to you. It's a lot of ground to right cover. Back back so if you're going to flank, you need to very much make sure that you're careful in doing so. I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of this fight play out. You can see that we've already got our pick. Me and number three there are aiming at the same spot from two different places. We're both covering each other. We're both focus firing the same position. They just don't know exactly where both of us are, so they have to try to look for both of us. It's very ineffective. Let's see how it plays out. And since this team's kind of been holed up a little bit, I'm going to take this opportunity to maintain my anonymity just a little bit. I'm going to be a little quieter and slower than maybe I normally would be, but that's okay. Did this guy's team whole, all whole team die? Yeah. Damn, dude. Where is this guy inside? Up on the uh, right top of the ladder. Oh, box. You um, heal me. Hit her. Got her. So she lost track of me in the fray a little bit. Forgot I was over there, even though I killed her teammate and burned him. And now with all of her focus on here, she even gets a hit, moves forward, makes herself a little bit more unsafe trying to get the kill on that hit. That and yeah, with me out. over on her side, it yeah, doesn't play out. Even getting caught out a little bit. Now that we're fighting from Guy on me already. angles towards one target, it actually works out pretty well in our favor because they have to split their attention and we do not. Hit. I hit him. Got one. Running up. See him. Two of them are hit in there, one's dead. Here we obviously rolled up on the Metaverse. There's two in there, one's dead time. outside. So, what we can do now is take advantage of that early pick. We've got them pretty much pigeonholed into one spot. I hit them. Three range to move and reposition yeah, around them. Pretty quick. As each one of us shoots and gets a tag, that lets the others advance, move, sidestep, flank a little bit. We can use all of this to our advantage. Hit one on the right. Keep pressured, keep getting favorable He's angles. Be keep this team fight rolling in our favor. Make He's sure outside on the get that uh, Back to the right side. It's simple, it's simple. Yeah. Oh, uh, his other friend got back, got back in the bush. He's all the way back here. Yep. Taking our meathead. And another one behind the barn. healing Hit the one by Don't the tree again. You're gonna circle. They gotta be running out of heels He's running behind there You got Dad? it. Last one. We want to push them. Yeah, push together, but from you know different angles, but cover each other. He's, 
Okay, he's left side, left side. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, how is that? Oh, uh, he's hurting. No, I'm fucked. So I'm out of ammo. Don't self, don't take explosive ammo. You got me. There he is. Nice. One more quick little point that I want to make is that I think conflicting loadouts are perfectly acceptable, but conflicting positions are not. I don't see anything wrong with one member of your team running, say, a Sparchy and another running a shotgun, which is what you'll see in this clip. But what you cannot do is be the guy who sits a million miles away with your Sparchy while your shotguns push, letting them get killed and burned while you sit out there in safety. Or... Another example is if you're defending a boss compound, if you have a rifle, you probably don't want to sit in the boss lair itself, which I personally don't like to begin with. But if your teammate has a shotgun, he might. It is ineffective for your teammate to sit in the boss lair and then you sit further out. You cannot cover the same things. You cannot cover each other. And if one or the other of you goes down, the other guy can't get to him. So conflicting loadouts, fine, but make sure that your loadouts are both working in conjunction with each other and towards the same goal. Other than that, I think that conflicting loadouts are perfectly acceptable and in fact can be good. Right here you'll see that I can get a guy that my teammate might not have been able to. Right there. All right, I'm not going to play out this whole team fight for time purposes, but I did want to get in here and say that I think it's okay to have different strengths in your loadouts. And in fact, probably a good thing. That way you can do different things. He can push into a building more easily than I can. I can take range more easily than he can. But either which way, we need to make sure that we're working towards a unified goal. Otherwise, our differing loadouts will actually be a huge detriment. Okay, from here, I'm just going to leave you with two total team fights. Uh, one demonstrates breaching into a compound and just some excellent team play that gets us in there and uh, kind of a lot of what I've been talking about, covering each other, helping each other back up and reposition and getting the double taps and focus firing down targets and ultimately lets us get into and take over a compound and a boss lane. Then the second clip will show the opposite of that. It'll show us holding a boss lair against six people and just utilizing combat reses, communication, call outs, repositions, and even my friend telling me, stop being a dummy and peeking that same window, which sometimes you need. Sometimes you just keep peeking and you keep getting shot for it and you need somebody to reel you in. So these two are gonna kind of demonstrate a lot of what I've been talking about. I hope you enjoy the clips, and here you go. Man. Are you in? No. There's one right here, watching this door. Watch it, watch, watch, watch the three. He's like right there. Opening this. I'd flash this dude if somebody wants to go with me. He's sitting on the steps right here. He's sitting on the steps, all right. Nothing? I got nothing. Pitch oh, thank God. Yep. Fucking pitchfork. <laughs> Hit her once. 
I hear a shotgun reload. Push down. Push back up. Right there. Ooh. Thank you. Is this last one? That was yeah. It. Okay. Because I picked up his freaking shotgun quick. <laughs> that was some excellent team play, gentlemen. Yep, is, good shit. Is this your sparchy? No. Dear Lord, you gotta make place here. Wow, shot Fuck. me through the uh. Oh wow, it was a compact dead eye to the foot. How many bars do I have left? Black shirt, female. With a Springfield compact behind that uh, building next to y'all. Grab the money right away. Never mind. They got the res. I couldn't stop them. Yeah, there's like six people here, dude. Let them try to let them fight each other. Nice. Oh, he's inside. Right next to me. Double down. See, so through the wall. That's the one that killed me, so you might be able to pick me up real quick. Yeah, combat res that shit. Just be careful of that window. They've been standing. Oh, I took that shit for you, bro. Well, I sure appreciate it. And guess what? Get a health charge back, and then that's it for our arrow guy. Oh, I I shouldn't have even done. It. You can pick me up. Right below me. Back up to me. Don't peek the window anymore. Okay. They're gonna lose their teammate. Come on. My slugs are horrible. We do. Right here. Yep. I mean, fuck it, I have the health support if you want to go for the Necro again. Yeah, just one left, I think? Yep. I'm just gonna run out and res him. Oh, fuck.
Oh, he's, he just ran in. Up here. He's right in front of me. Up top level. Wait. Nice. That's it. Alright guys, we made it to the end of another one. If you hung out with me this far, I really appreciate it. I love it when you guys check my stuff out. I do it so that I can help people because it's fun. So if you get anything out of this, I'm really glad you did. Let me know. I appreciate hearing from everybody. As usual, you can catch me here and here. And if you want, come catch me live. I'd love to answer any questions you have. You can kind of see what we got going on. We got a good thing going over there. So feel free to stop in, say whatever you want, leave me feedback ask me anything i'll help you out the best i can and if you found any of this useful helpful entertaining whatever as usual drop me a like follow subscribe any of that stuff leave me a comment let me know what you like what you didn't that's what helps me out we're still honing this process and your feedback helps me do it so feel free to drop a line one way or the other let me know what's going on we'll see you guys next time Thanks.